Hey guys, welcome back. Carter, bits be tripping. We're gonna take you guys through a good one today. It's the mining laptop right here. This is the Air Alienware Area 51. It's the latest one that they have. Unfortunately, it's not the one with the RTX 3000 series. Those have been pushed off. It's got a 20 core Intel 10 900K in it. Can't wait to get into this with you guys. We're gonna take you guys to the sponsor first and then we'll get right into this. Today's video sponsor is Miner Summit 2021, a Bitcoin focused and tech industry roundtable conference created to nurture industry growth and networking. This event will be held on June 15th and 16th in the Lake of the Ozarks, the Four Season Lodge. Vendors and exhibitors present include BBT, Bitmain, Slush Pool, DMG, ASIC Jungle, Power Priority, MicroStrategy, Galaxy Digital, and many more. Tickets are available for this event still. You can use the promo code BBTMS2021 at checkout to save 15%. Hope to see as many of you as possible for this engaging event. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this. Welcome back into what this PC is. So uh, I got this PC. This is an upgrade from the previous Alienware that I had. I had the M17R4. That was an 8950HK and it had a 1080 in it. This was an upgrade just because we're getting in a lot more 4K content. I'm also looking at a 6K camera and I think that will give us a whole other range of high quality stuff when we get into some of the newer mining content. But I wanted something on the road that was a lot faster. So of course with this one, there's gonna be a proper like Alienware review of this. Again, it's not spon this is not sponsored content with regards to the Alienware. I did pay for this and buy this. You know, we'll give you guys an idea of how much this thing cost on the screen here. But of course, we're gonna try some mining with it. So this is the mining video. Let's dig right into how this thing performs. We're gonna try Monero. We're gonna do Vertcoin. We're gonna try Ravencoin. We're gonna try Ethereum. We're gonna see what does, um, you know, a pretty modern a Alienware Area 51 with an RTX 2080 Super get you if you wanted to uh, do a little bit of light mining. I wouldn't hit this thing as hard as you can, but if you pay attention to your thermals and don't overcook the fans for a bit, you could probably do a little bit of slide mining on this when you're out and about. So let's check some power numbers here too. We got a base, just this thing was unplugged, so it's actually kind of doing a charge right now too. So at idle, it's about 55 watts when it's charging. This thing comes with two power brick. We'll get you guys a quick zoom in on these. Uh, 330 watt power brick and a 230, 240 watt power brick. Both of them can be plugged into the back here. And you guys will see that real close up there. It's crazy. It's the first laptop I've had with two separate power connectors. From a charging standpoint, if you're just going to not do any gaming or anything, and how much power is being pulled from either uh, power supply separately, and then, you know, what is it? when does it require the other big, big guy here? But for a mining standpoint, we're going to leave them both plugged in. We want all the power going to it, and let's see what we can get here. So first up, let's go ahead and pull up Afterburner. And have that running. We're going to show you that it is not running any kind of ex extra settings right now. It is just set on default. And we're going to bring up the mining content. We're going to first start with uh, XMR. This thing is a 20 core. We'll bring this up to where you guys can see. So the i9 10900K has a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz. And this will turbo up to 5.3 gigahertz in total. So when we're running Monero, we're going to see what it actually goes up to. It does th temperature throttle to around 5 gigahertz, but it does have a peak performance of 5.3 gigahertz to a single core. I haven't seen 5.3 on all core yet, but let's see what we can do for Monero. When we go into this folder, Monero, and let's go ahead and just run this. I did some light config just to set up the pool where we can see what's going on. And let's take a let's take a check on what this thing actually ends up pulling. We can see as it starts to spin up here. There you are, 5.1. Looks like what it's going to right now. As it starts to hit the cores here, it's going to step it down some. But you did see it peak when it was on that one single core in the upper left-hand corner there, where it peaked up to almost 5.2 gigahertz on a laptop, which is a little crazy. It looks like it's it, it's slowing it down to about 4.7 gigahertz. And we'll see what our what our hash performance is on this. Let's take a look here. And there you are. 
We're at about 7,600 on this. Now, uh, I could set it to try to go to all cores, but honestly, the, the virtual cores are not really, they don't provide actually that much. We'll do a deeper dive test. I wanna try the Ranger LOL miner also on this, which is a separate OS which will do a more test on it but right there you can see we're at about almost 8,000 on the hash performance on this thing and the power watts on this machine and we're sitting there at about 400 and 426 426 watts on this laptop so this is not an efficient setup when it comes to the how much power this thing's actually using for the available 7600 hashes you know so maybe if you're traveling and you're inside of a hotel or something maybe but that's a lot of wattage pulling through these bricks here this other brick's actually pretty warm as it's pulling pulling some juice here so there's your monero performance obviously it's stepped it down also you can see all those cores pegged out that we're at about 4.5 gigahertz now g minor 2.54 and let's take a look at some base numbers for eth this is without changing any settings at all base stock clocks right now there we are about 36 mega hash right now on that on that 2080 uh, using about 156 watts we'll confirm that off the meter real quick and see what it's using the meter showing about 200 and some change here about 222. So this is that rare instance where a laptop's GPU is using less power mining than using the CPU for something like Monero, where we could see that that Intel 10900K using some serious juice. So it looks like it's holding about 36. We're gonna close that real quick. We're gonna pump up the uh, numbers here. Let's take the MIM clock to 1,000. Let's apply that. I'm gonna switch you over to where you guys can see me doing that. Just went in there and put 1,000 right there. And let's go back in and see with a thousand megahertz overclock so that's looks like it's only going up to 800 as we can see the meter up here this was holding at about 7,000 and it went up to 800 so it's only giving us 800 of the thousand so that looks like it's about the max of the memory on this laptop this is a 7800 megahertz and that's the effective rating there and then we're up to 42.8 so that's about about 43 mega hash we went up to 20 watts in power for about six mega hash which is actually a pretty good bargain we're at 250 kilowatt an hour efficiency or kill uh kill a hash per watt efficiency rather so 42.8 is your ethereum speed on this laptop see we're not using much cpu which we wouldn't be check our ravencoin performance we'll leave that thousand megahertz overclock there now ravencoin uses the core a little more but it does use some of the memory performance we know that it's stable with that thousand so we're going to leave it we're holding just about 30 mega hash on ravencoin that's actually pretty good using about 200 watts of power though so it's using a little more power now unfortunately we cannot change the power limit on this card so it's going to be in a little inefficient by comparison but we're almost pushing 29 oh we're at 29 mega hash on ravencoin and it's gonna it may temp throttle a little and here the fans picking up here so we're at about 77 c we'll get one more reading on this ravencoin has a little uh a little adjustments there we are 20 so it's slowly ticking down as it's stepping that graphics card down for cooling purposes trying some bit tube now that's using kukuru 29b there we are almost 10 graphs a second and that's using about 190 watts it's about 240 on the whole system we'll check some beam performance using the normal solver again this is using an equihash adjustment and we're getting 32.9 souls we'll get one more rating here check grin 32 and then we'll wrap it up with vertcoin mining we'll use the one click miner from vertcoin and we're at about 0.59 on grin kukuru 32 which is grin 32 We'll try some conflux. There was some folks wanting um, some octopus performance. So we're using T-Rex 020.4 for that. We're at about 54.66 mega hash on octopus. It's a pretty decent performance on that. And that's at, that's about 270 watts total system for 54.59 mega hash. Let's go ahead and do the one click miner from Vertcoin. This is already set up here. And it's mining now and that's 645 to 650 kilohash it's about 2.4 or 2. Point, yeah about 2.4 vtc every 24 hours right now on these current rates and again that's about 250 watts full system all right folks that was a real quick one on mining performance on the alienware area 51 
This is the i9 10900K with that 2080 Super in it. I think it'll do really well for the rendering that I'm going to be using for it when I'm doing remote rendering. I'm going to be taking this to the Miner Summit and it's going to be running pretty much the whole operation. And whenever I'm doing remote video editing, I think it's a, a, a real good uh, laptop for that. Uh, there is a much more detailed overview that we're going to take on this laptop. So if that interests you, I'm going to try Cinebench and a few other stuff on there. You probably saw that whenever we were doing the mining. Cinebench is on there and it gets some pretty decent numbers being a 24 setup here. Um, I'm also going to do some light gaming on it, maybe some hard gaming. I, most of my stuff lately has not been like AAA titles, but if you guys are interested in that, that'll be a next video of a more robust walk through on the machine itself but hopefully you guys uh enjoyed this i ha haven't had a lot of mining content videos so this was nice to see the performance of this if i missed an algorithm that you want put it down in the description i can you can always follow me on twitter and i will test that algorithm for you and give you a screenshot of what it does or maybe even a quick video on twitter on that as a follow-up so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the content, and I will catch you guys on the next one.